Entertainment Tonight, the must-watched entertainment news magazine in the world. Unforgettable. Mary Hart's unforgettable final week at Entertainment Tonight. Now I Witness television history as John Tesh and all of her former co-hosts return. Mary, there was absolutely no way we could miss your final show. I love that you guys are all here. That's why Serenaded by Natalie Cole and surprised by her biggest Hollywood friends. When I see you. Mark Harmon, Neil Patrick Harris, LL Cool J, Michael Douglas. Thank you for all the, all the good memories. And Regis Philbin with a marching band in Times Square. We're gonna miss you, Mary. Plus, so raise your the E.T. staff music video tribute to Mary with Mark Steinis and Dancing with the Star Cheryl Burke. Her final words, her tears, unforgettable. her unforgettable 29 years on Entertainment Tonight. Mary, you know I love you. You are unforgettable. Now, Mary Hart says goodbye to E.T. Hello and thank you so much for joining us. I'm Mark Stonis and this next hour we will say goodbye to our beloved Mary Hart. After 29 years here at Entertainment Tonight and thousands of shows, we had to say farewell in style with one huge surprise after another. The gentleman, Mary Hart. Oh my gosh, this is it. This is the last. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hello, girl. Hi, I'm Mary. <laughs> Hello, Mary. <laughs> You know this what? is John I mean, Tess. I remember John Tess. <laughs> yeah, I remember I'm John. He was the tall one. He was the tall guy. Oh, my God. Like this, you guys, it's almost Look like you, you have it, to steer me you. through. Wow, What's the deal? Wow. Look at your I up. could I'll never see. imagine. Oh, okay, God. look. look all of on, us get a close together, up of your eyes. I <laughs> never dreamed that we'd all be oh here together Isn't like that this. something? It was a secret plan we had been working on for weeks, reuniting Mary with all of her former co-hosts, Rob Weller. The stage is a little more high-tech. Uh, we had <laughs> yeah. we had two <laughs> flashlights. John Tesh. I'm John Tesh, and tonight, Mary Hart says goodbye to entertainment tonight. Oh, that was awesome. Bob going. Get back here, going. Oh, I'd love to be able to say that. It makes me so happy oh, Mary. to see you guys oh, we're here. Thrilled to be we're so proud of you, Mary. Thank thrilled you. Thrilled to be here. Also on hand, Mary's husband, Bert Sugarman, and their 19-year-old son, AJ. And Mary's parents, her mom, Dorothy, and her dad, Rob. Everyone, from the hosts to our executive producer, Linda Bell Blue, to the entire ET staff, excited to help celebrate Mary's historic last day. John took over the hosting duties. Mary, there was absolutely no way we could miss your final show. And believe me, we are not the only ones in Hollywood who feel this way. <laughs> Take a look. Mary, you know I love you, and it's been great the time that you spent with all of us, and, and you'll be missed, and thank you for everything you've done. Mary's just been like a staple in our culture for a long time. I went to a seminar when I was 14 years old to find out how to make it in the business, and Mary Hart was the MC, And I was like, oh my God, there's Mary Hart. She's so cool. Now I time of my life No, I've never felt like this before Yes, I swear It's the truth And I owe it all to you You are an American treasure You are a great beauty and a kind person And I will miss seeing you on red carpets I remember that show when it first started. I remember Mary Hart and John Tesh. I remember the theme music. I remember her legs. Her legs being insured. It was such a big deal, and they had to put them behind the smoky glass because she was she was making men wild across the country. Mary Hart, those gams. You have achieved a fantastic honor. I'm going to raise a glass to you, Mary. Congratulations on all the work. 
You have the right name, Hart, Mary Hart. <laughs> I know it's spelled differently, but you have a big heart and you're a beautiful, wonderful person. Mary, you are unforgettable. Oh my God, Mary, the greatest ever. <laughs> Made it into a Seinfeld episode. There's something about the sound of Mary Hart's voice that's giving you seizures. And people grew to rely on Mary Hart. I mean, she took us uh, through the highs and through the lows. She persevered and has turned herself into an icon yeah. and a legend in broadcasting. Hey, Barrett, tell Mary Hart we're all gonna miss her here. Head, but some of my life. Oh, great wow. stuff. Wow. I'm completely overwhelmed by all of those well wishes, and ah, I don't know what to say. I'm just really glad you guys are here. <laughs> oh, man, today. We got you, girl. Mary, you have worked with a lot of talented people over the years who have stayed behind the scenes, but now they're coming out of their shells with, I'd have to say, some of their unique talents. Here is the ET staff featuring Mark Steinus and Cheryl Burke. Raise your glass. Now the world premiere. Right, right, turn off the lights. We gonna lose some minds tonight. What's the dealio? I love when it's all too much. 5 a.m. turn the radio up. Where's the rock and roll? Party crasher, penny snatcher. Call me up if you are gangster. Why so serious? So raise your glass if you are wrong In all the right ways all night Under dawn We will never be, never be anything but love And nitty gritty, dirty little freaks Won't you come on and come on and raise your glass Just come on and come on and raise your glass Slam, slam, oh hot damn What part of party don't you understand? Wish you'd just freak out Can't stop coming in hot I should be locked up right on the spot It's so odd right now Party crasher, candy snatcher Don't be fancy, just get dancing So raise your glass if you are wrong In all the right ways all night we will never be, never be anything but loud And nitty gritty, dirty little freaks Won't you come on and come on and raise your glass Just come on and come on and raise your glass Just come on and come on and raise your glass Just come on and come on and raise your glass Get my glasses empty so if you're too school for cool And you're treated like a fool You could choose to let it go We can always, we can always Party on our own So raise your So raise your glass If you are wrong In all the right ways All night under Just the beginning. Coming up, those of us who share the anchor desk with Mary share our stories. The guys remember their favorite Mary moments. Celebrating your birthday today! Bill Connor and the 56. And you turned to me and you said, that was very nice, but was a little loud. <laughs>
<laughs> Natalie Cole gets ready for a very special performance. It's incredible. And Mary's heartfelt farewell. That's coming up when Mary Hart's unforgettable final week continues. Unforgettable too. Unforgettable. Entertainment Tonight presents Mary Hart, Unforgettable. I am so lucky to have been hosting the show with Mary for the past seven years. Her other leading men shared with us their stories from her 29 years of TV history. Hello again, everyone. I'm Ron Hendren. And I'm Mary Hart. Hello, everyone. I'm Rob Weller. And I'm Mary Hart. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Entertainment Tonight. I'm John Tesh. And I'm Mary I'm Bob Goins. And I'm Mary Hart. Hello, everybody. I'm Mary Hart. And I'm Mark Steinis. Well, we haven't changed a bit, have we? Heard? <laughs> do, you, do you remember our audition in New York City? Okay, John. So I called uh -oh. you, Steve. Did you want to punch me? Uh -oh. And they put up the prompter. You read your thing. They put up the prompter. It was a celebrity birthday. They go, celebrating a birthday today! <laughs> Phil Collins is 56. And you turned to me and you said, that was very nice, <laughs> but was a little loud. <laughs> Yeah. A lot of people don't know that Mary really has a good sense of humor, and she actually punked me one time. I don't know if you remember this or not, oh, but it was yeah. about 10 years ago, and, and Rabbi Marvin Heyer, one of the greatest leaders in the Jewish community uh, in the world, had just won an Oscar. And for some reason, I got a, I thought that was a funny concept, and so I'm doing an impression. I'm, um, uh, Marvin Heyer, I got a little gold statue, and I'm having a, I'm having a chicken sandwich. I had a brisket for lunch, and it's just like there like a crap lock and a oi with a huh. Bob? Yes. Buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You punked before Ashton Butcher ever punked. Oh, yeah. That was so much yeah. fun. That was good. And you deserved it, too. <laughs> And when I was there with Mayor, we were just, the E.T. was just getting super hot. We had no audience, but w there was a guy sitting in the back, and all of a sudden, the, the head of publicity brings up Senator John Glenn, my childhood hero. I mean, the astronaut. Unbelievably, he's here watching the show. He wants to meet us. He comes up, Mary, how are you? Then he looks at me, he says, hi, John Glenn. <laughs> <laughs> I've been like that for all three of us. Okay, now let me just have a word here. It's your title. It has been, and I, I'm going to go right in chronological order. Rob, you always were so funny that I would sit and laugh and the tears would run, and it made such a headache for our makeup people. <laughs> Two of the three farm films, Places in the Heart and Country. Wait a minute. That's my line, Mary. Okay, Marty, you, ready? You read Two of the three farm films, Places in the Heart and Country. We all had great times working together. So thrilling to watch you sit and compose at the desk. Yeah. Except on the days when you ate that gosh awful smelling tofu lunch. <laughs> How did that feel? I felt pretty good. I mean, with your with your coaching, it felt even better. Oh well, and Bob. Yes. I mean, I I don't even know what to say except it was my discovery of fantasy baseball oh, yeah. came with Bob Goen because he would sit there and I really thought for the longest time you were some kind of mathematical genius. Oh yeah, there I was. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You're very good. Thank you. You're excellent. Thank you. You're no John Tesh. But, <laughs> you, know. you guys. Well, you have to, from my perspective, I watched you guys on television. From I grew your, up from, your yeah, uh, from, from, from my crib, from, from my crib. Mm -hmm. But when the, ta the time came for me to sit in the chair and co-host with Mary, I kept telling myself, don't look at the legs, don't look at the legs, don't <laughs> <laughs> and I remember turning and looking at you and realizing how blue your eyes are. And I oh, told yeah. you that. And sitting up close to you, and it's been paralyzing ever since. So I, it's just the, the beauty and the Kiss joy up. of sitting here. <laughs> <Kiss> <laughs> up. I don't know how you did it with these three guys, but I must have been a joy the last few years. <laughs> of course, guys, we have to talk about the man who had the privilege of sharing the stage with Mary Hart before any of us. Mary's first co-host, watch this, Ron Hendren. Couldn't be here tonight, but Ron wanted to send you this special message. Watch. About the time that Entertainment Tonight was really taking off, I faced a major crisis called fatherhood, and Mary helped me through it. I held Jean's hand while she had the baby, and Mary held my hand while I had the breakdown. Names, we had a million of them, but Mary took one look and said, it's Holly Lane Hendren. And so my daughter will always be known as the little girl Mary Hart named. We love you, and God bless. Oh, Ron. Awesome. Thank he was the guy. You. He was the guy who started yeah. it with you. Yeah. Yep. That's, that's fantastic. Nice.
Coming up, Mark Harmon stops by to celebrate Mary's final week. Oh, my We're gosh. We're going to miss you. You know that? His surprise visit and the gift she didn't expect. <laughs> Plus, Neil Patrick Harris, Michael Douglas, and Regis. No business like show business like That's coming up. Monday on Entertainment Tonight, Arnold Schwarzenegger, his rumored love child, the exclusive photos, and Maria with her arm around Arnold's alleged mistress as a witness comes forward today. You're the first close friend of the family to come forward and speak out. It's new to everyone. This is a shock. Were any of her other children fathered by Arnold? Then Kirstie versus Hines. It's all or nothing. <laughs> Bring it on. Last minute rehearsals just before the dancing finale. Monday on E.T. He is the star of NCIS, the highest rated drama on television. And it didn't take much to convince Mark Harmon to come by and surprise Mary on her last week here at E.T. Okay, we're ready. Any time. Speak. Okay. Backstage, a covert Mark Harmon. Shh. It's a surprise for Mary. All right, stand by, Mary. Five. Mary on stage, unaware. Well, it was all about Kirstie Alley, and we here at Enter... Mary Oh, Hart. my gosh. Mark... I knew you only had three days left, and I wanted to make sure I got here. Okay, now I'm going to be a total basket case. Not only a kiss, but roses. Those are spectacular. From our garden. <laughs> <laughs> then from Mary, an invitation to her bungalow. Have you had an invitation like that? It's about time, let's go. <laughs> okay, come on. The walk across the studio, very short. The time they've known each other, long indeed. You know, it makes me very emotional because I... You and I first met, I think, before I started E.T. Yeah, I was going to say, what my memory of, of the first time I, I knew of you or met you, you were singing the national anthem at Dodger Stadium. And uh, I was playing in a, a Hollywood All-Star game there that night. I, I, you know, I went back looking through stuff, and I, 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 I looked for, you know, something that had something. And, and, and I, I, I have nothing left but my pants. So, so, so look. See, this is these, these are the pants. That's that's the that's the Dodger emblem on it. You know what, Mary? That's when I met you, and now they're yours. I cannot believe this. I'm gonna have you right on the butt of these pants really? before you leave. Okay, you got it. They might even they fit me. They look great. They look okay. great. Depends what you have on the top, but, but they, they, they look great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when Mark did sign those pants, it was right on the rear. Left cheek or right Same cheek is up to you. Okay. <laughs> For Mary Hart, who now has my pants, onward. Like a picture of you in those pants. That's what I was. Do you know what? I might just have to do that. And before you like leave, that. you're yeah. going <laughs> to... <laughs> Now, Mary has sung our national anthem at Dodger Stadium a few times over the years, but that first time was a huge break for her. A lot of people say yes, but a lot of people can't do it, and you did it, and you did it well. So you say, well, is that, is that a break, and you were lucky? Sure. But had you worked your butt off to be able to do that? Yes. That's where tenacity comes in. That's, that's the difference between you and other people, and, and, and that you're still here, Mary, yeah. and doing good work. You know, that's, that doesn't happen. That does not happen. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. you know, when, when I heard you were leaving, you know, and, and they talked about, can you get in to say goodbye to Mary? I mean, it's a priority for me, for real. But, but I really mean it. I, you couldn't make me be here and, unless I wanted to really be someone to stand up and give you a hug and give you my pants and, and, uh, and, and, and say, I've enjoyed our time. Of course, part of their time together was on the NCIS set. This was in 2005. You're a fly. Oh, excuse me. Mark <laughs> rolled with the punch then, which led to a discussion about that infamous NCIS head slap. Then, Mary Let's got her hand chance. Hand. It's just like that. That's, That's hard. <laughs> One of Mark's favorite victims, Michael Weatherly. Weatherly was on the set with me, and the only concern that I really detected that was a serious one is that he's starting to go bald where you keep hitting him. <laughs> you know what? That may be true, but 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 it also might be from the people who hit him Sunday night when he's picking out oranges at the market. I mean, that, that's, that's that's the bigger issue. I just know that I think I'm I'm certainly hitting him less hard than those people out in public who are taking a whack. I took a whack okay. and I really hit him. So tell me, Michael, does the head slap ever get old? No. Good. Coming up. He'd love to be hit by you. It did feel kind of good, actually. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I hit you. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> All part of a good nature camaraderie that E.T. and NCIS has shared over the years. Happy birthday, E.T. 
dear Mary. Early on, E.T. was one of the few press outlets that supported the show. And we've all been appreciative of that over the years. There's been a lot of people jumping on the bandwagon since then. Absolutely. This is a, a more together group than it was in year one, and, and we've improved. In that, there's a bond between the writers and the creators and the actors and the crew mm -hmm. that, that I've never witnessed on any show I've ever been on. Even stronger, Mark's bond with Pam Dauber, his wife of 24 years. You and Pam have raised your kids very privately and it's not that I want to spill all the beans now I just I admire that mark and you have done it wonderfully but that that hasn't been easy the idea of maintaining some sort of balance is is really what it's all about do your kids want to go into show business I don't know uh, right now they're just trying to be kids you know and and this is a world where that in itself is a is a full-time accomplishment it's about trying to make their upbringing as normal as possible and, and um, today's a good day. Yeah. If you ask me tomorrow, who knows, but, but today's a good day. We have the behind the scenes secrets of my video tribute to Mary with Cheryl Burke. Plus, Michael Douglas, Regis, and how they said goodbye to their good friend Mary. That is all coming up. In tonight's Celebrity GPS, the stars have Mary on their minds in Cannes. Mary. You're as gorgeous today as you were when you first interviewed me. Rob Lowe spreads the love in the Variety Studio at Stella Artois Lounge. Mary, heart is unforgettable, of course, <laughs> and uh, always great to see her and be around. Mary, oh, hi from Richard and Jane. We send our love. A tout la au revoir, Mary Hart. Patrick, Jane, and Michelle were among the stars arriving for the show part sponsored annual Ambar Gala, which brought in more than $10 million for AIDS research. This year's gala honors the legacy of activist Elizabeth Taylor. I think she, her legacy will be evident. And Chopard has pulled out all the stops for the celebration by teaming with Zanotti to produce dazzling pink five-inch stilettos encrusted with briolette cut diamonds, rubellites, pink sapphires and rubies, accented with gold chains and a matching pair of hoop earrings. Lighting up the red carpet, fashion model Anja Rubik glows in this stunning Chopard ensemble. We did a very special piece, a shoe, a Cinderella shoe that we named Elizabeth. The shoes were auctioned off for nearly $200,000 thousand dollars and you can check out all of their stunning creations at showpart.com.